Hello everybody and welcome all aboard this fishing boat for a look around the interior. So uh, as you can see we've uh, got a nice uh, easy to get through companionway uh, door which will just close and shut all the weather out. The first thing we see on the right hand side as we go through the door we've got a, a it looks like a cupboard really but I think it's probably meant to be a seat with the seat or cushion unit missing. Uh, I think just a piece of ply and some cushions would sort that out and we've got access to a cupboard door there. So if we step in we've got really great headroom probably about six feet hard assess and you can see the inside of the, uh, the shelter which I believe has been added at a later date to the boat. We've got some LED lighting on the uh, on the deck head there. Lovely great big windows, so good view forwards, sideways and out uh, over the cockpit and the stern, so brilliant for watch keeping at sea. And um, just uh, coming back to where we started, you can see we have a cupboard door here, which gives us access forwards into a um, just another storage area here for fenders, etc., etc. And uh, looking up, we can see we've got a, a nice uh, unit here for your binos, for your phone, etc., etc. Before we get to the left-hand side or the port side, we've got the helm area. So nice, comfy seat, which folds down as well on a on a I think a, a, an added binnacle as well you can see we've got lots of speakers on this boat another one behind there I think somebody likes their music so I think uh, at sea you're probably going to be good for music and there's a, there's a 2000 watt amplifier on the after bulkhead there so it could be amazing but anyway back to the the, the tour so we've got a uh, wheel steering here we've got the actual stereo unit down there engine instrumentation we've got ours we have uh, taco we have uh, engine temperature and oil pressure. We've got the throttle here. We've got bilge pump controls down here. We've got uh, the electrics panel here, Raymarine unit here, VHF DSC and compass. So all the basics that you need to, uh, we think, operate this boat in relative safety. And it does seem like a nice place in here. It doesn't smell damp, it feels nice and dry. So it could be a place to spend some time at sea fishing on your own or with mates. Now, if you just look back, we can see we've got another cupboard here with access there and uh, top access there for batteries, etc. There's the amplifier I was talking about and another stowage behind. So lots of stowage, another one here as well on this uh, boat or in this cabin to uh, ensure that uh, we can get all of our bits and pieces uh, that would otherwise be rolling around. So uh, what we'll do, we'll just uh, exit the interior and we'll go out to the cockpit and have a quick look, shall we? So as we can see, we've got uh, the engine cover here. So we've got the engine, this just uh, hinges at the back here and it all lifts up, gives you really good access to all sides of the engine. On the port side, we've basically got space. We've got a rod holder. We've got uh, the, uh, the, the tray to chop your fish up on, which is brilliant. And uh, at the back, we've got a small, well, quite a deep, wide thwart ship seating area uh, with uh, storage beneath, I believe. And at the back, we've got an auxiliary outboard there, should anything go wrong. And insets onto the stern, you can see we've got two more rod holders there. Very useful indeed. Port is very similar to starboard. Now, obviously, this is a well-used boat. You can see evidence of adaptations, clever ones. You can see evidence of past damage. We can see evidence of uh, improvements, etc., or where things uh, perhaps might need doing. But uh, she's a working boat and uh, she's very cheap and if you think you might like her to take her to sea and uh, grab some of those fish for yourself then just give us a call at boatsheadbrighton.com and before we finish let's just uh, notice on the uh, on the uh, coach roof you can see we've got lots of rod holders up there we've got horn and we've got the uh, steaming lights as well to complement everything inside so this has been tim from boatshed drop brokers just taking you for a quick tour around the cockpit and upper deck of this fishing boat thanks for watching take care